بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so the next thing let's try to see what what if you want to do the same firepower setup in gns3 let's say if you have a, a pre-configured gns3 platform already running so uh, what and how you can do that so it's the same process if you're already used to gns3 uh, like here i'll quickly show you some uh, basic steps so make sure that you have installed the gns3 and your gns3 vm is running i think it's starting right now and we should see this gns3 vm running inside my vmware now this is the vmware gns3 vm which is uh, still booting once this finishes the booting you you need to make sure that your integration with gns3 and the vmware is properly done so if you refer to these videos, now this is the GNS3 VMware integration. That's important. A normal installation, it works fine without any, any problems. So that's a, a prerequisite thing. So make sure that your GNS3 VM is running, which automatically starts when you power on the GNS3. And we should see this GNS3 VM is connected. Now the next thing, we, we must download the appliance file. Now, there are a couple of things. We need to make sure that we download the FMC or the FTD virtual devices. The same steps, whatever the virtual images we have downloaded. So additionally, we have to download the appliance file. These are free files from GNS3 website. Because these appliance files will connect to these images. And it's a kind of process to upload those images. So we need to go back and first I'll see how to download. So let's try to see how to download those options. So if you go to GNS3 uh, marketplace, from where you can download this FTD, FTD download, FTD V download. So even if you go to gns3.com and the marketplaces, that's where you will find the option inside the appliances. I think if, even if I use uh, GNS3. Dot, now, this is a marketplace, GNS3.com marketplace slash appliances. Now, here we can search for the specific product. Like I want to search for FTD. This is actually documentation search. Now, we need to search for specific appliance. So here, if I uh, scroll down, I should see this. Uh, these are all the appliance images. So here you can see this FTD. I have to download this. So download this FTD V. And likewise, I have to download the other one. Uh, the same other one is fmc fmcb so this fmc appliance file we have to download so once you download these things so we need to go back to our gns3 so let's get back to gns3 you need to go to file and we have to say import appliance uh, import appliance Go to file and say import appliance. So now I have to select those uh, download files. Now the same thing, if you have done already IBS XRV or ASAV, it's the same process. So I need to select this FTDV, the image which I downloaded, uh, the appliance file, then the process will go automatically. So you can see the GM, GNS3 VM integration is something important. Uh, and click on next. And once I click on next, it will just show you some options. Now, here, here is uh, the place where I'm going to upload the image. So if you have these exact images, you can upload the exact images, select and import. And you can select the local drive and upload. And in case if you don't have the exact image, then you can just create a new version. Let's say I'm going to say 6.2.2 .2 something, some name. And I can create a new version and I can simply say import option. So import, I need to select the images from wherever you want. You need to select the images and then we need to say upload. 
So let's say this is FTD. So I'm going to select this image and upload. So this takes a lot of time. So depending upon the size of the image, but this is how it's going to be. So it will take 10, 15 minutes approximately to upload the image. Now the exact same thing you have to do for uh, FT, F FMC as well. So if you remember, we have downloaded the FMC. Now, similar way, you have to do the same thing for, for the FMC as well. So basically the process remains the same, but that's how you do. You need to go to appliance, uh, file, import appliance. And from there, we need to select this file. And from there, it will automatically redirect for you to select or upload the images. So make sure that you have enough uh, CPU resources as well as the memory resources like uh, make sure that you are running at least two core processor with with a, uh, around 32 GB RAM or anything equivalent or more than that. That's something recommended to run because each device, even if you're running FMC and FTD, probably it's going to utilize almost 16 GB RAM on that. So you can optimize, you can reduce some RAM while adjusting. That's something you can still do, but that's a kind of minimum uh, requirement you need to have to run this uh, softwares, whether you're running the EVNG or GNS3, both.